I'm telling you two are getting married. Uh, hi. No, we're not getting married, but my sister is. Hey, do you want to come? working way too hard. Why not call it a night? It's because there's work to be done and there's nobody here to do it, you know? We got the cranny on the cow, got the sleeve on the sportster to do. Where have you been? You've only put in like 10 hours this week. Well, I, I've been kind of busy. Doing what? Hey, give the guy a break. I mean, he does have two jobs, not to mention a full load of AU. Two jobs? You moonlighting? Well, I guess you could say I've been... I mean, can I talk to you a sec? This supplemental employment is strictly temporary. I needed the extra cash. Maintenance. Maintenance. Oh, oh, I see. Expensive taste, huh? Well, it's not the food so much as the jewelry. But the next week, everything will be back to normal. Huh. What kind of temp work are you doing? Driving. Driving. Cattle. You're kidding. No, Where? no. Where did you do this? It's a long story. Look. I, I should probably get back to my date. All right, all right. You want me to... I got some other things I can do. I'll leave you guys alone for a little okay. while. But listen, I want you back full strength next week. No problem. All right. Yeah. Um, anyway. Yeah, goodbye. Nice to see you. Good night. All right. Arthur, what is going on? Nothing. Don't give me that, Arthur. You're hiding something from me, and we're not going to leave here until you tell me what it is. idea of a joke. The game is over. Oh, God. Oh, Trucker, 
Thank you. Okay? Thank you. Well, what happened? Watch out. I went to put this, um, that letter that I found back in. Uh-huh. And I found some more, so I, I, I just started reading them, and I must have fallen asleep. And when I woke up, I heard this banging noise. Well, who was it? I don't know. But did you call out? Well, yes, I did, and 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 it stopped. And when, and when I came downstairs, the person just ran out. All right, all right, relax. Are you okay? Yes, right. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just glad you came by. Well, me too. I mean, I, I could have been stuck in this place forever. I, I know. I, seriously, because I moved out of here this morning. I just came back because I forgot my sledgehammer. You know? Who would want to trap you in there? Trust me, you... I don't know. All right, come on, come on. We better call the police. Mm -hmm. Come on. Stand back, please. On three, one, two, three. You freeze! Your hands up! Okay, Dear okay, Lord. okay, put the guns down. It's all right. It's all right. What, you know this, Brad? I beg your pardon. Yes, this is Isabel Alden. She owns the place. Isabel, okay, you scared us. What are you doing here? Well, I could ask you the same thing. The groundskeeper told me the police were here last night. So I came around this morning to see that everything was all right. Now, would somebody please tell me what the hell is going on here? Sorry, ma'am, we thought you were the perpetrator. The perpetrator? Yeah, I came out here last night because I'd forgotten my sledgehammer. And when I came in, I heard banging upstairs. And when I, I, I got up there, I saw that somebody had tried to board up the entrance to the, the staircase. Good. I, well, Stacy was inside. Oh, is she all right? Yeah, and she was a little freaked out, but basically she's okay. I'm just glad I, I forgot my sledge here. Well, I should say she could have been boarded up for days. Oh, I hate this house. It's cursed. Well, I wouldn't blame it on the house, ma'am. Young man, I will blame whomever and whatever I please. What was Stacy doing here all alone at that hour of the night anyway? Well, J.J. found a letter upstairs in the attic, and Stacy just thought she'd better return it. That I can understand. What kind of a letter? I can't see how that matters. Well, it might give us a lead. Well, I doubt that very much, since the letter must be more than 40 years old. It's a family matter. Let's just leave it at that. Now, if you have any more questions... Actually, we do have a few more questions for Mrs. Forbes. Is that a problem? No, of course not. Do whatever you have to do to catch that man. But this particular broad does not like people interfering with her family. See anything? Hear anything? I heard hammering, and when I got downstairs, the opening was all boarded up. Look, I want this man found. And quick. What do you want us to do? Stake out the lumber yard? We need something to go on. We'll do what we can. You said you heard pounding, that's all. Oh, yeah, that really... I want to thank you a lot. Uh, for what? For what? For saving my wife's life, that's what. And for being a good friend. I haven't been a good one to you lately. Oh, come on, man. It's okay. So I know you got your hands full over there, you, you know. I, I miss us hanging out, though. You doing all right? Yeah, look, do me a favor. Yeah. Thank you. Keep an eye on Stacy. I don't like you're in this mystery business. All right, I'll do my best. Someone who would want to do the family harm, a disgruntled employee, anything like that. No, not that I can think of. You said something about reading letters. Uh, yeah, just some old letters. I found them under a pillow. But they were unsigned. That's correct. Where are they now? I imagine they're still on the bed. But, well, they're not important. I don't think they would give you any kind of a lead. Well, let us be the judge of that. No, really, they're, they're kind of private. You must hate this. Well, the idea of perfectly total strangers snooping around up there in that room. It's humiliating. Cabot's the one who should be ashamed. I want this lunatic found. And then I want this house closed permanently. <laughs> You? Mm hmm okay. Well, in that case, I'm gone, as they say. You when you asked. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, I had a feeling someone was watching me. 
Well, Stacy, it was more than a feeling. I mean, he obviously was watching Oh, please, stop. If I'd have been here, this would have never happened. I'm yeah, well, if I hadn't fallen asleep reading someone else's love letters, it wouldn't have happened. By the way, trucker. What? About those letters. Uh-huh. They're gone. He's been back. What'd I tell you? Yeah, the letters aren't up there. You sure the police didn't take him when they searched the place? I'm positive. Okay, let's go over this thing step by step. Oh, trucker. Oh, humor me. Look, so, so you went upstairs to put the love letter back. Under the pillow. Right, where you found more. Yeah, and then I lay down in bed and I started reading those. And you fell asleep. Yeah, Jack's been working long hours at the office lately and I've been having a hard time falling asleep, so I'm just a little bit tired. No, that's, come on, it's okay, I understand that. That's all right. Then what happened? Oh, all right, I heard this pounding, and I woke up. I looked around. I remembered where I was. And I realized that someone must have been downstairs at the entrance. So I called out, and there was, there was no answer. So I went downstairs, and that's when I saw I was trapped. It was a horrible feeling. All right. Look, it's over now, so just relax. Yeah, well, whoever boarded me up in that room wanted to get at those letters, I'm sure of it. I mean, really, that's the only explanation, right? All right. Come on, I mean, don't get worked I'm up. I'm not getting again, worked now. up. I'm just relax. scared. I shouldn't have brought you out here. No, again. no, I'm fine. I want to stay here. I mean, I told Jack that I wasn't going to get Forget you. Forget about Jack, trucker. I just want to solve this. Shh. Heck, Mr. McKenzie, you shouldn't go around surprising old men like me. When you threw open that door, my heart skipped a few beats. All right, sorry, Mr. Schaefer. We're just being kind of jumpy around here. Well, I know about that. Mystery, suspicion, who's who, who done it, who's your friends, who can you trust? Right. You, you know this property real well, don't you? Well, I better. I've been groundskeeper uh, 50 Two years. Maybe that's 51. Maybe it's 53. What year is this? Yeah, it's 1992. Oh, no. Yeah. No, I started working for the Aldens in 1939. Maybe it's 1949. Mr. Schaefer, did you talk to the police? The police? About yeah. the break-in. Oh, yeah, yeah. They did their job real thorough. Mm -hmm. I told them all I knew, which was nothing at the time. Why? Did, did something else happen? Well, yeah. There's probably a logical explanation to it, but it uh, seems to me it's a piece to the puzzle. What, what is it? Well, when after the police left, I went back and checked my extra keys to the various properties. Mm -hmm. and? and sure enough, the keys to the tides were gone. Is there any chance at all that you mis just misplaced them, or...? No, no. I don't lose things. Heck, I never even use the ones I have on my belt. I keep my other keys back in my work shed. Mm. Did you search your shed? Did you look for them? Yeah. No keys. Gone. So I figure whoever's causing all the trouble around here probably swiped those keys. Yeah. Hmm. Well, thanks, Mr. Schaefer. Thank you. Anytime. You'll tell the police? Yes, of course. Yeah. Fifty yeah. years. That's it. I've been groundskeeper for exactly half a century. Wow. Well, happy anniversary, Mr. Schaefer. <laughs> <laughs> So. so someone else has got the keys and just been letting themselves in and out. Yeah. So what do we do? I set a trap and I'm nailing them. Where do you usually put your garbage to pick up? Right there. Right here? Yeah. All right, mystery person, come and get it. Let's hope he takes the bait. Oh, he will. That stuff's a lot more valuable than those letters. All right, let's go inside.
No, listen, I'll go inside. You're going home. N don't start. Stacy, I told Jack. Oh, forget about Jack. Trucker, I'm staying. Let's go. Let's go. And now we wait. Sir Ali, can you stay? Oh, I've got all evening. Hey, isn't Jack gonna miss you? No, no, I don't know. He's working late, again, and Louise is taking care of the kids for me. Bet he hates being away from you and the kids as much. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so how are you holding up? Me? I'm fine, I'm on the trail of a mystery. No, 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 seriously. <laughs> Trucker, I'm, yeah. I'm okay. Jack said things are going to be getting a little bit easier. He's working on a new project at Alden Enterprises, and he thinks that this is going to prove to Isabel that he's the right man for the job. And then after that, things should settle down a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so where's our thief? I don't know. We could be here for hours. Well, I got nothing better to do, that's for sure. Have you heard from Trisha? Nope. Oh. How are you doing? I want my son. Yeah, I bet. Well, he was born weeks ago, Stace. I mean, I don't even know what color his hair is, if he has any hair, how much he weighed, what color his eyes are, what he sounds like. This isn't right. Trucker. I don't want you to feel sorry for me. I just, I should know. I should know these things. I should be part of them, too. Trisha should only know how much you're hurting. She knows. I'm sure she's just very confused. Stacy, I don't, I don't even want to talk about her, you know? Shut me out, Trucker. I'm your friend. I know it must be tough for you to wait. Well, I'm getting used to it. <sighs> Trucker, she's going to come back. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And when she does, you guys are going to have a lot of things to work out. We'll see. What does that mean? What? There's somebody on the porch. Can you see? Do you, can you see the face? No. 